to talk about Black Youngster, the rapper. And before I do, I want you to see a little bit of a clip about Black Youngster. Check it out. Shit, nigga. One time my motherfucking loaded, bitch loaded and mixed it. Out the motherfucking horns, bitch. They thought they had going on. Cooking that cop. You racing that, bitch. Ha, ha. Got my shit back. Ho, 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 ho. Before they woke up, I had my cop back. Who? X day made me. Ha, ha. X day pappy. They look. Ha, ha. Look. Look, grand pappy. Ha, ha. Okay, that's just about it. As you can see, the, the uh, title of this video says Black Youngster takes Lambo straight to the hood after a recent incident. I think what, what incident they're talking about is when uh, he got pulled over. No, no, no. They tried to arrest him because they saw a large amount of... No, no. Because he took a million dollars out of the bank account. He took a million dollars out of his own bank account and that's what they tried to arrest him for. Because whenever a black man has a lot of money like that, he, he has got to be a criminal. So once he told them that he makes music, which he in fact does make music, that's when they had to let him go. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts about the way I about what I think about Black Youngster. First, I want to say, you know, congratulations to him for being successful. It's always good to see a black man make it. It's always good to see uh, a black man become successful. I congratulate him on that. And I'm, 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 you know, I'm happy for him. I'm genuinely happy. I'm not hating on him at all. You know, he drives fast cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, whatever he drives. I'm happy for him. I really am. I'm genuinely happy for him. Now, what I don't like about Black Youngster is his attitude. Black Youngster acts like he has no damn sense. He flashes his money like he ain't got no damn sense. He talks extreme. He talks, he speaks with extreme arrogance. There's a difference between being overly confident and extremely arrogant. He is the most arrogant, successful musician I've ever seen in my life. You know, he did in fact earn everything he got. And once again, I do congratulate him on that and uh, kudos to him. Uh, but he doesn't have to act like that. He doesn't have to act the way he does. Talks a lot of shit. Y'all already know I'm here. I'm out here. I get this money. I drive fast cars. Riches love me. I get money. I get money. I drive fast cars. Y'all can't see me. The haters gonna hate. The haters gonna hate. He talk too much shit. You know, you know what would be real nice? If people like Black Youngster would start uh community building movements to where he's putting he's putting all of those millions of dollars into institutions that can help 
other people become successful just like him, other black men in particular, to become successful like him. That's what he needs to do. That's what people like him need to do. You see, because the black community could use that kind of money. The kind of money he's making. Most black people are not making that kind of money. So, it would be nice if he gave back and, he, and if he um, started to build institutions or, you know, uh, places that people can go so they can learn the trade of music and get into music and start making money. But ultimately, to build their community because everybody knows the black community is a piece of shit. Nobody wants to be in the black community, not even black people. Now, they'll claim, oh, yeah, I'm in the hood. I'm in the... If you love your fucking hood so much, why do you travel after you make it to the top? You don't really love your fucking hood. You don't really love your hood. If you really love your hood, you'll stay in it no matter what. I wouldn't even advise anybody to talk about how, how much they love their fucking hood. Especially black men. There ain't nothing good in the hood. Nothing is good in the hood. As soon as you get your money, you get up and you leave. Before them niggas over there try to kill you. Now, people like uh, Black Youngster, he don't really have to worry about stuff like that. Because he has uh, what you call street credibility. Um, he has respect in the streets. So... He doesn't really have to worry about that, but uh, the ghetto was, is, is, is always going to be a ghetto. The ghetto was always going to be a ghetto, period, okay? Um, it's, no, it's no place for anybody to live, and uh, the best advice would be to build. Whatever is broken in that community, in order to make it better, and in, and in order to make it livable. Okay, have you checked out white communities lately? How beautiful they are! How how uh, they have beautiful greenery everywhere, beautiful green grass here, beautiful green grass there. It's so beautiful in these white neighborhoods, man. It's gorgeous. But not in the ghetto, not in the hood. Nothing but con uh, concrete. That's all you see. A bunch of concrete everywhere. Hardly any trees. Because all of the paper that's used for these notebooks, for these, for these college kids and these high school kids everywhere, it's coming from the hood. Your American government knows that the black community ain't shit. So they take from the black community. They take the resources from the black community. They take the finances from the black community as well as the fucking greenery. The trees. They cut down your trees and they use it for paper. Because they know that, that the trees in the ghetto are not even, they're, they're not even that important because a bunch of black poor people live there. That's why. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check you later. Oh, and share this video.